So, hey you guys. Uh, hello? Number five? You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for Ted or <laughs> Come back any time, brother. I'm your bro. That's awesome. Number you six. look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for Ted or <laughs> Come back any time, brother. I'm your bro as well. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to to click that. I was so excited. Two brothers all of a sudden. That's nice. Oh, wait, what's what? Wolf. Hello. Oh no. Wait, where's my? I want to offer you some drugs of the legal kind. You know. I can I get a? No. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. Great. Oh wait, you make armor? I need, I need armor. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. <sighs> so you are not trading armor. You are just standing here, not doing anything. Ah. Uh. Why? Um. Forgot which one. Number six. All right. So we should have four left. Uh, are there four guys here? Three. Mercenary. Hello. Maybe. Wait, am I allowed to sell it to mercenaries as well? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you. Um. Ca ca what? Cavassing? I've no idea what that word means. Of customers, but I guess that's it. The novice Baal Kagan. Alright, now. Hang on a second, because I don't quite understand this, I thought everyone with the title Baal is already someone of a higher rank and not a novice anymore. I thought the Baals were all gurus. I thought that's what Baal was standing for, but apparently not. Also I noticed that I, I could talk to this Baal uh, without him talking to me first, so there is a major difference between those two. But he looks just like the other ones, and he's also having the title Baal. I don't get it. I don't get the hierarchy of the sect camp. Alright, never mind. Um, this novice gave me 10 stalks of green novice wheat, which I have to distribute in the new camp, so it doesn't matter where. Alright, good, good. Here we go. I have some swamp wheat here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you 10 ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some, too. Yeah, I was just about to. Hey, a new face. Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the magicians? Lee has made a deal with the magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here, and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really, but he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. See you later. All right, go on. Lots of new information, but I actually just wanted to sell you drugs. Do you want some swamp weed? 
Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... He sounded slightly Italian. Right, uh, so you are... You are Strike. You're actually the guy. Okay. Alright, this is Strike. And we are supposed to beat him. Which I tried multiple times now. I will edit that out because he keeps hitting me with a critical strike on the first hit every single time. Don't know if that is a bug in the game, but it is quite annoying. So I'll just leave him be and just go over here. Okay. Not be mad at the game at all. And just sell some drugs to this mercenary. No, not to the bench, to the mercenary. Uh, do you want some swamp weed? Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... Okay. May I pass through here? Yes, you may. I really need some armor, some kind of... Do you want some swamp weed? Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on yes, any... Yes, yes, alright. It's exactly the same voice actor, the same audio line, so... Um... I think that's it. I think we sold what? Oh, all right, let's use that for now. Um, uh, that is that is my share actually from Fortuna from yesterday, and I think we sold it. We sold everything else. So let's get back to Paul. Uh, Paul. Um, to Paul. Ah, uh, whatever his name is, he's right over there. I can see him. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, a second, one second. Well, well, here we are again, back in Gothic 1. And it was a phone call that interrupted me back a few seconds ago, probably, because I will edit it all together. But uh, after that phone call, which was quite a lengthy one, I wasn't quite in the mood to uh, continue the recording, even though there's still a bit of day left in the game, I think. And uh, I just stopped the recording, and then I didn't pick it up again for about a month. So, um, quite some time has elapsed, and I absolutely have no idea what I was about to do. I only know that I wanted to talk to this guy, to Baal Kagan, and turn in my weed quest. And after that, I don't really have a plan. So, let's do this first. I've shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? Oh, right. I remember this. I can choose between three spells, I think. Um, his help in joining the Brotherhood, which is worthless, I think. Um, because there will be enough other Bards that I can convince, so um, I will just take the ore because I'm, I'm nearly broke right now and I really need ore for equipment. I'll take the 100 ore. Very well. Here. Thank you very much. And here we are now, without a plan, in an unknown camp. Um, well, we can talk to Laris, I suppose. Now, where are you going? Where can I go? To Laris. <laughs> well, I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. Well, actually, you did, so you kind of failed at that. Uh, are you Laris? Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here, but you need a good reason to disturb him. Mordrag sent me. Mordrag hasn't been seen here for some time. He's probably changed over to the old camp. I came here with him. Mordrag's back? If you meet him, tell him Lares wants to see him. Mordrag gave me something for Laris. What is it? A ring. Certainly a precious piece. Okay, you can see him. Okay, that, that was weird. I mean, I could have easily made that up. Everyone in the old camp knows Mordrag. So you are the worst bodyguard in the world. And you are Laris, I suppose. Or wine. Or a candlestick. Oh, what else has he here? 
I uh, can't even I can't see what's in the upper shelf and this wine is very badly placed because I'm, I'm continuously at risk picking it up when I want to talk to Laris and then he will probably kill me all right let's try this hello mr. Laris <clears throat> there we go uh, I want to join your gang Oh, yeah? What have you got to show for yourself, then? Well, n not much, actually. Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. Wait, what? But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want <laughs> you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. That was fun. I didn't know that I was a... Uh, oh, it's a tricky word. Uh, ventriloquist or something like that. That's funny. That's actually funny. Swap the audio files there. And also, my, my hero was was moving, so so that. Uh, in any case, um, okay. So if I tell more drag that you need a guy in the swamp camp, then I'm part of your camp, I suppose. Is that enough for me to join you? More drag has spoken up for you, but you're not ready yet. Do your tasks. Oh, I need to get to level 5. I think I'm at level 2 or 3 or something like that. Um, so, can I do any other tasks for you? What else can I do? Bal Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. Alright. I will do that. Thank you, Mr. L. So, he said that um, the guy's name is Bal Isidro. Now, that is not this Bal. This Bal is Bal Kagan. I didn't see any other Bals around, but Bal Kagan mentioned there's another Bal in the new camp. Um, namely, in the tavern. Only sitting there and drinking and not doing his job. So, um, that is the only clue on where to uh, go when you want to do this quest for Laris. And um, to get into the tavern, now that is also tricky because we need to bribe the guard in front of it with 100 ore. But we have enough. We have enough. So that shouldn't be a problem for us. That's do a bit of silly jumping before we get there. 